Good morning, it is Friday. It is the Friday before Thanksgiving and today I thought I'd vlog it because I have a really fun Friendsgiving slash Litsgiving tonight. It's gonna be a really jam-packed schedule for me. I obviously have work that I have to finish and I still need to cook my food for the potluck tonight and then we're gonna drive over to the city because my friend Brian is hosting and I've never been to any of his parties but I hear they're amazing. He's also a UX designer and um, he is really good at cooking. He's been like prepping this huge piece of meat like all day since like 4 a.m. this morning. So I'm really excited to eat the food. It's gonna be delicious. I'm just gonna take you along with me today and I'm gonna start off with doing some work first and then cooking my food. And so let's get into it. Um, my hair is up. This is what happens when I need to do business. I can't have any distractions in my face even with my hair. And um, just online, I'm checking my emails, I'm checking my Slack messages and my calendar. Thank goodness I do not have any meetings today. Let's hope it stays that way because I don't know about you guys, but usually I feel like when you need to do a lot of things and like you're trying to like finish things up early, then people always put like a last minute invite on your calendar somehow and it just doesn't work out for you. I just need to finish up some designs and then um, lunchtime I'll start cooking my meals. I'm kind of stuck on this email. One of the hardest things I'd say about UX in your job is basically trying to back up your design decisions. So it's not just about creating nice pretty mock-ups and doing like the research. Uh, a lot of the times after you hand it off to the engineers, you know, they're the ones that really make your mock-up real, comes to life. and. Um, it's like smooth sailing if they have no questions, nothing to say after. But typically, engineers will usually like come back and tell you there are certain limitations or something that they can't do. And it's like a hard balance. You have to be able to listen to their feedback. So uh, we've been having this chain of emails going back and forth explaining why the UX team feels this way and the engineering team saying why they think it's this way. So they just wrote back to me and I need to write back again. Um, I think what we're gonna have to do is have a meeting really. So I'm going to go back to my email and design. All right, it's lunchtime and I've got my stuffing mix that I got from Trader Joe's and I had this at one of my friends giving potluck before in the past and it was super good. So I'm going to go with this. I'm going to make this for tonight and I need to make enough for 16 people. So I got two. So we're just going to try it out. perks of working from home. Someone just pinged me randomly and I just wanted to get back to them real quick because um, it seemed like it was an important message. So just running back real quick. <laughs> I finished work for the remainder of the day and took a meeting as I removed the stuffing from the kitchen. If that's not multitasking at its finest, then I don't know what is. Look how beautiful it turned out. It also got Trisha's stamp of approval. What a little nibbler. Well, this is my second batch. The first one went so well that I decided to do the second one. And voila, I finished, I did it in time. And we also have some creamed corn right here. I'd say my day was a success. I finished my to-do list of projects and then went over to my friend's place just in time to have all that delicious Thanksgiving food. I think an important part of life and key to success is learning how to manage your time and balance everything out. It's how I'm able to have a great work-life balance and it's something I'm very grateful for every day. I hope you liked this vlog and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.